is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to go over the new changes to the 2023 NEC having to do with terminal connection torque. And at the same time, I will compare and contrast two of the popular brands of torque screwdrivers, as well as a couple of brands of torque wrenches. Here we are at 2023 NEC 110.14A. The shaded area here means this is new for 2023. This is gore. So this is about terminals. Connection of conductors to terminal parts shall ensure a mechanically secure electrical connection without damaging the conductors and shall be made by means of pressure connectors, including set screw type solder lugs or splices to flexible leads. In 2020, this right here said thoroughly good connection. So they just changed the wording around to make it a little better. So it shall ensure a mechanically secure electrical connection. And you can't damage the conductors. Now I'd like to show you 2023 NEC 110.14D. Now you notice there's a delta symbol next to the D. That means that something has been deleted. And then once again, we have the shaded areas, which means that something has been changed. So for D, we have tightening torque values for terminal connections shall be as indicated on equipment or in installation instructions provided by the manufacturer. An approved means shall be used to achieve the indicated torque value. And here are the three informational notes. Now, number one is exactly the same as it was in 2020. It says examples of approved means of achieving the indicated torque values include torque tools or devices such as shear bolts or breakaway style devices with visual indicators that demonstrate the proper torque has been applied. And then the deletions and changes are in number two and number three. And it's just telling you where you can find the information. So they have made it more precise for you to find information to find your torque values. Now let's take a look at two of the popular torque screwdrivers. This is the Wera and this is the Weha torque screwdriver. The torque screwdrivers are for the lower end. They're for 20 inch pounds to say uh, 55, 60 inch pounds. And these are two of the best, best ones on the market right here. Uh, there's cheaper ones, but these are these are both made in Germany. They're both uh, uh, very high quality. Let's start with the Wera. Okay, so this one uh, goes from 25 inch pounds to 55 inch pounds. You change the inch pounds by, see, I just pulled this tool out of the handle, which is a nice feature. And you change your inch pounds right here, and it has a stop at every two and a half inch pounds. See, right now it's at 27 and a half. There's 30 inch pounds and so forth. It goes all the way to 55. I put it back to 25, that's 27 and a half again. So there's, there's 25 inch pounds. We'll put it right back in there. And you heard uh, it has a real nice click, an audible click that tells you when you reach 25 inch pounds see that's a it's a real nice audible click there and also even though these are preset at every two and a half inch pounds you can stop in between those presets uh, you know uh say say you want 26 inch pounds well you, you just go a little bit past the 25 preset and that'll be 26. so it doesn't come with any uh bits but you can use any quarter inch bit I actually got this out of my Milwaukee uh, ratcheting screwdriver. She has a bunch of nice bits in there. And I like the longer bits, uh, so you can use these in electrical panels without banging up your knuckles. So uh, any bit, but this is not insulated. This is not an insulated tool. This would be very useful uh, for uh, building a uh, panel, you know, with, with all your connections and so forth with the electricity completely off. Uh, so it's valuable uh, for that reason. So 
uh, 25 to 55 inch pounds. Okay, let's bring on the Viha uh, in German. You, you would say Viha in uh, English. You'd probably want to say Viha because it's easier. This one has a tool that comes with it like this. And it has a case. Okay, the, this tool goes in the case. The torquing tool goes right in like that. It goes just like that. Okay, so that's 50 inch pounds. Now, this is 18 to 62 inch pounds. So this has a, a bigger range than the Wera. 18 to 62. So we're going this way. Now, this is 48. Now, if you wanted to do 49, you just stop right in between the 50 and the 48. But it has numbers every 2 inch pounds. Then there's 46. So let's go to 25. One thing, this is much faster to change your inch pounds rating. Okay, so that's 26 and that's 24. So we want 25. Just put it right into 26 and 24. And you got it. Pull that out. Uh, put in your bit holder. There's a click there you hear when it's in. And here's your number two square drive. You go like that. Okay, so there it is. Now I'll grab the breaker and put it in there. And there you go. Now, you do not get as good a torquing with this screwdriver as you do with this pistol grip. So the pistol grip's real nice at the end when you're doing that torquing. It gives you extra power. This one's better when you're just screwing it down. This is terrible when you're just screwing it down. The, the pistol grip is not good when you're just tightening something down. And I just noticed something. This thing just flew out the back. So that's not a good deal there. It usually stays in pretty good. But I was, I was screwing it hard that it flew out the back. Boy, you don't want to lose that. So this one has a bigger range. It is fully 1,000 volt insulated. And it has slimline bits. It comes with, check this out. It comes with 13 bits. You got the Phillips 1, you got the T20, you got the T15, you got the T10. Uh, this is your, this is your, what they call the Xeno number 2 bit right here. And this is Xeno number 1. Uh, that's like half Phillips and half straight slot. And it's got three straight slots, different sizes. You got the Phillips number 2 and you got the number 1 square. So you got a nice set of a slim line 1000 volt insulated bits so if you're an electrician that changes out breakers you got to have a thousand volt insulated tool if you work for me i'm a licensed electrical contractor and nobody's going to work on a live electrical box without a thousand volt insulated tool proper clothing proper boots proper gloves uh, eye protection you use a thousand volt insulated tools if you work for me so also, another point is, it's got these squared off areas where it sits there and it doesn't roll off the table on you. Here we are at a load center, and I've marked what these uh, torque settings are supposed to be. Now, there's different torque settings for different size wire, and there's different torque settings for this large screw and the small screws. So, the large terminal at the, with number 6 AWG wire is 45 inch pounds. So, I've set the Wera. To 45 inch pounds and tighten this down see it's not it's not really that handy uh, with the pistol grip until you get to the torque then it's real nice but it's, it's faster with a regular screwdriver okay we're getting there there okay so we're torqued to 45 inch pounds right there okay now this one right here is 25 inch pounds. So now we're going to torque down the breaker. I got my number two square. And see, here's the advantage to the Weehaw. You can just spin it like a regular screwdriver. The, the uh, pistol grip isn't as good for that. There. Okay, so that's torqued down to 25. Now this one right here is 20. See, the small screws are 20, so I'm going to have to change this. 
isn't the most convenient arrangement in the world, but it works. Okay, 24, 22, 20. All right, so that goes in there. Click, take that out. See, this is the number two square. Now I'm going to put in uh, the medium sized straight slot, and we're at 20 now. This little screw right here is 20 inch pounds. So, so you just tighten it in real quick. Okay, that's torque. So that's torque, that's torque, and that's torque. Uh, so there's an example of torquing with these two torque screwdrivers. For my money, I'm going to take the Weehaw. I like the extra range. I like the 1,000 volt insulated. I know it's more money, but for me, I'm going to go with the Weehaw. For the lugs, you'll have to use a torque wrench. This is my AC Delco torque wrench, and the spec is 250 inch pounds. You can see I got 251 inch pounds this time. Now I'll show you my Milwaukee digital torque wrench, which I have set for 275 inch pounds. I'm using a 5 16 inch hex head on a 6 inch extension, and you see I've just tightened the lug down with the motor. Now I'm doing it by hand, and when you see the green LEDs, you'll know it's done. It's, it's torqued properly. And there it is, there it is. There are the green LEDs. Now I'm going to tighten up the lug for the neutral terminal. And the specification on that one is 250 inch pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the OK button and I hit the OK button again. Then I'm going to just hit the down arrow and go to 250 inch pounds and then I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to go back to the main screen. So we're at 250 inch pounds. Uh, basically that's 245 to 255 inch pounds with the range being minus 2 slash plus 2%. The green LEDs that light up tell you that you're properly torqued. Now this is a really nice torque wrench. It's all digital, but it's in the higher end. It's going to be more expensive. I'll put links in my video description for the torque screwdrivers and for the torque wrenches that you saw in the video. The best bit to use for the panel lugs would be a 5 16 inch extra long hex bit. The A and B lugs are 5 16 of an inch and the ground lug is 3 16 of an inch. I'll put a link for a 5 16 extra long hex bit with 3 8 inch drive and I'll put a link for a set, a 7 piece set of extra long hex bit with 3 8 inch drive. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.